how you guys um i didn't get to finish my last video because my phone um shut down but anyways after i um put the the cream on my face i'm gonna i massage it in and um i untangle my hair and then i use this this is a lotion from l'oreal um advanced hair care smooth and tense and it's for um you know lotion for your hair so it will keep it moisturized um i was looking at my other videos and i just noticed that like i didn't introduce myself or none of that like what the heck so I'm here for that and like to tell you guys a little about a little bit about myself and um yeah. So first thing is first, um I wanna let you guys know that I I'm not going to be using my um regular name, like my name on here. Um I'm gonna go by Via. Um my channel's name is Beauty Via, so I'm gonna go by Via. Um Um and so, like, I want to tell you guys a little bit about, like, my life and stuff like that. So, first things first, when um, I was a little girl, I um, used to do, like, a lot of bad things. Um, like, not go to school, um, like, hang out with my boyfriend, smoke weed, and just not listen to my mom, you know? And... Overall, my mom used to never be with us because, you know, she was always working. And um, it was just a tough, you know, like being young, it was tough. Um, so then I was like so like out of control that my mom decided to um, send me to Puerto Rico so I can meet my real dad. Um, so I got to Puerto Rico. I was like... 12 years old and um you know when I first got to my dad's house um like it was like nothing he wasn't excited he wasn't he was just you know like a, like he was just seeing a regular person and that for me right there was hard you know what I mean because first of all you've never been in my life excuse me first of all you've never been in my life and then like you get to see me after what 13 years and you act like nothing anyway so my mom just left me there and you know that was very hard because being with somebody that you don't know and then their first impression is like you know like who are you why are you here you know what I mean like that was hard for me um so I felt like as though like my mom abandoned me and like she just you know couldn't deal with me no more excuse me piano um, she couldn't deal with me no more, and she just left me, you know. Um, so, my dad didn't even have money to buy me school clothes for me to actually start school in Puerto Rico. Um, so, one day I'm just sitting in the couch, you know, like a normal day, and my godfather asked me, because he used to play um, numbers, you know, for the lottery and stuff. And he asked me for a number, and I gave him that number, and that night, that number hit, like, it hit. So, my godfather, out of the money that, you know, he received, um, he gave me $600, and that, that was the way that I was able to buy clothes and everything to go to school. Um, and even though my dad was an a-hole, like, I still decided to give him money, and um because he had a little way for some clothes and i gave him 200 bucks out of my 600 and you know for him to get clothes and stuff so anyway i started going to school blah 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 um i was the tallest kid in in ninth grade because when you go to like another state or if you go to puerto rico i guess like they put you down level so i was in seventh grade really and that was so embarrassing i didn't know no spanish at all like nothing the only thing i had know how to say was mommy and papi and um until i got to know like you know a couple of people and um i got to know this one guy that he you know he spoke english 
and he started showing me, you know, like, um, Spanish. So that's how I got to know Spanish. But then afterwards, um, I used to, I met my two cousins, um, that live in Puerto Rico as well, and, um, like I used to stay at their house in the weekends and stuff like that, and, um, I got to know the, my kids' father. I was, like, 14 or 15 when I got with him, and, like, the first couple of days, months, weeks, it was, like, so, it was, like, so good, like, it was awesome, you know, and so we started dating, you know, calling each other, um, seeing each other and stuff like that, um, and so one day, after, like, a month or two, I decided to lose my you know, my virginity to him, and it passed, like, after that, it passed, like, two weeks, and my, my, I was, you know, it was on the date that I was supposed to have my period, and my period never came, so I thought I was pregnant, so before even doing the test that I was pregnant or anything like that, like, I just decided to tell my dad, mind you, my dad was so strict that, like, I couldn't even go out to the porch to talk to my friends, I couldn't go outside for no reason, like, I couldn't talk on the phone, I couldn't do nothing with my dad, he was so strict, and, um, so I just decided to tell my dad, like, yo, dad, um, you know, I had, um, um, uh, how do I say it, sex with, you know, my boyfriend, and I think I'm pregnant, blah, 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 the first word he said, well, you gotta go, you gotta go, and you gotta go, and I was like, wow, so I just decided the next day, to, um, before I went to school, I just, you know, put a couple of clothes in there and I left the school. And then when I was in school, um, I was real close with this girl and um, I told her what was going on and she just said, like, after school, just come with me to my house and then you can figure out what you're gonna do afterwards. So that's what I did. I went to, after school, I went to her house, you know, um, her mom already knew the situation. She was so cool with it. She was just giving me advices and all that. And, um, I called my grandma and I told my grandma what was going on. So my grandma came and picked me up at my friend's house and I told my grandma what was going on. And she's like, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to call your boyfriend and let him know that what's going on? Or do you just want to stay at my house? Or what do you want to do? I said, um, I don't know what I want to do. Like, I was just crying, bawling. Like, I was just so scared, you know what I mean? Being 14, I was scared. So then when we got to my grandma's house, she um, asked me for my boyfriend's number, and I gave it to her, and she called him, and she was like, I got my uh, my granddaughter here, she has, she's pregnant, um, what do you plan to do, do you want to take her, or do I send her back with her mom? He was like, no, I'm going to take her, so he came that following weekend to pick me up, and I went to his house, mind you, when I'm on the way to his house, I'm like, what is this, like, I have never been to Puerto Rico, so all I was seeing was just mountains, and mountains, and mountains, and his house was the last house of, like, you had to go up the hill, down the hill, it was no houses, like, around, you know, like, on the way there, like, it was just the last house of the, of that, you know, of that place, you know, and, um, it was just terrible, like, the first couple of days, it was terrible, like, terrible, I suffered, I cried every day, um, after, like, a couple of months, um, I guess my boyfriend got, you know, like, he got out of hand, he used to come home on, like, Instead of coming home Friday, he would come home Saturday, drunk, you know, like, on drugs, and he would used to, like, treat me bad, like, not he, not physically, but um, verbally, you know what I mean, and it was just hard for me, like, he used to cheat on me, he used to say, th like, crazy things to me, um, so, like, it passed years and years and years, I was with him, I only had my son, oh, mind you, when I, when I went up to his house and I did the pregnancy test, I was not pregnant, I was not pregnant, so after, like, two years, that's when I had, you know, that's when I got pregnant with my son, and, um, so then, you know, we decided to, um, like, after a couple of years, we decided to go, to go, to go to Pennsylvania, that's my hometown, Pennsylvania, so we went down there, um, we were staying at my sister's house, 
and at my sister's house, they were still doing the same thing, like drunk on drugs and doing all that, and um, it was terrible, like very terrible. So then I applied for housing. They gave me housing, and you know, after that, like after they gave me housing, it was uh, like it got calmed down. Like it was a little bit calmed down, but then he was doing, he was still doing what he, you know what he was doing. So. Um, he cheated on me with a friend that I had down there. It was a very close friend. Um, you know, we used to cook together, go shopping together, like both basically do everything together. If I didn't cook, if I didn't cook one day, she would cook the next the next day. Um, it was just like that. And come to find out, he was dating her behind my back. And I'm not gonna tell you like all what happened because then this video is gonna be super long. But me and her got into a fight. Um, she cut my face. If, if, if y'all can see it right here, she cut all of this right here. I had to get stitches on my face, and um, it was bad. So I left him. You know, I left him. Me and him was not together no more. I went. I I went back to Puerto Rico, and I left him with um, with you know, I left him in Pennsylvania. When I went back to Puerto Rico years later. Um, I can't tell you like the exact days, months, and all that because I'm I'm not good with that. But a couple of years later, like when I went when I after that fight and I left to Puerto Rico, I found out that I was pregnant again with my daughter. Um, and that was terrible, like terrible. Like I was like, wow, I fought while I was pregnant. That was crazy. So anyway, um. So after I went to Puerto Rico, I was staying with my mom, and then um, after I stayed with my mom, I um, they gave me an apartment, and at that apartment, that's where I really like got to know the streets for real. Like I got to know the struggle for real. Like I used to do crazy things. Like I was smoking weed. I was just like out of control mind you i didn't have nobody to help me i didn't have no guidance from a mom or a dad i didn't have um you know somebody to just sit there and talk to me and say listen this is like this, this is like this and this is like that i didn't have nobody to you know i was just alone like i was alone that's it i didn't have nobody um and that's where my like depression came in my anxiety and all that like it was terrible 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 like i can't like words cannot explain the things that happened to me and the things that i did you know what i mean like you know it was just bad so after that apartment they gave me another apartment like it was like a housing thing and um you know, after living in there for like a couple of months, um, I used to be on a porch at night, you know, just looking around, just thinking and stuff like that. And I used to see this girl, it was like a black, like a dark skinned girl with two white kids. And I'm like, that can't be her kids. Like, she's dark skinned and them kids is white. So I was just so curious and, um, one day, I asked her, I was like, yo, is those your kids? And she was like, yeah, those are my kids. I'm like, why are they so, so white and you're so dark-skinned? She said they came out like her, um, like her grandpa. And and so, like, um... So me and her got, you know, to know each other, and that became my best friend. Like, that became my sister. Like, that was, like, that's, and she still is. She still is. She lives in Chicago right now. And, um, you know, we talk from, you know, not as often as we used to, just to say it like that. Um, so, you know, after, like, meeting her and hanging out with her and stuff like that, my life got a little bit better, you know what I mean? Um, not that my life got a little bit better, that sounds stupid, but, you know, like, I felt more better, you know what I mean? Because I had somebody to, you know, to just talk to and stuff like that. Um, so, 
after like a couple of months and stuff that I met her, we, she never told me that she had a brother, never, ever. She never told me she had a brother. But one day, um, you know, we, this, this was like our night routine. We used to lay down the kids, make sure they were sleeping. And then me and her would, you know, chill at night, either on my porch or her porch. And we used to smoke weed and stuff. Um, so one night she called me, she was like, yo, you got a blunt. And I'm like, nah, but I got a dollar. And she was like, okay, well, when you're done putting the kids to sleep, come over here. Cause I gotta, you know, I gotta present you to somebody. I was like, okay. So after the kid, I made sure the kids were sleeping and everything. The court, the store was like right there next to the, to the, it's Caserio, you know what I mean? It's housing. I, I went, got the blunt and I went to her house. When I got to her house, I seen this dude there and he was like, to me, like, he was not my type at all because, you know, he was just now getting out of jail. He had all these tattoos. Like, he was skinny, skinny, skinny. Like, you can see the, 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 um, his, his neck bones and all that. And I was like, no. But anyway, my, my, my friend was like, um, this is my brother or whatever. And he just got out of jail and she explained to me everything. I was like, oh, what up? Hi, what's up? Or whatever so we just smoked blunts or whatever and all that and the next day i seen him sitting in front of my house like on like on some benches that they have at the caserio he was sitting there and we used to see each other like every day every day every day mind you after i left to puerto rico i left my kids' father here he flew back to puerto rico and we got back together but it was like not an ongoing thing like we would see each other like two or three times a week but i would stay at my house and he would stay at his house he would pick up his son and all that and his daughter or whatever um but we were still going through you know stuff so so this guy my friend's brother he was going he had a girl and he was going through some stuff also but um, for some reason, like, after he kept coming around and coming around, like, I would see how he, he is and stuff like that, like, how he would, you know, talk to me and stuff like that, and I was starting to like it. But anyway, one day, it was, like, um, church people in front of where I live, and they was just, just, like, preaching. The preacher was, like, preaching and all that, and I just decided to come down, you know, so they can pray over me and stuff like that, because me going through all this, I always believed in God. Like, I... I'm a firm believer in God. I love God and I believe in God, you know, and I believe that God is this, you know what I mean? So he came, he came to, to, to the, um, you know, to the church or whatever. And like the preacher, he was just like preaching and preaching. And when he seen him, he was like, he started saying mad things to, to him, to my, my, to Ruben, to my, my, my friend's brother, mind you, he, before he got to where I lived, he was supposed to go somewhere else and, you know, kill some people or do some stuff that he wasn't supposed to, but God, instead of leading him that way, he, God leading him this way to the church where I lived, and I was there, and as soon as he came in, the preacher started preaching him, you know, preaching to him and all that, and, like, it was a very nice experience. So after the um, the church was, you know, done and all that, um, everybody left or whatever, I, I, I hugged him, you know what I mean, because he was, he was crying and, you know, he was going through some stuff too. So I hugged him and I was like, everything's going to be okay, just trust in God, believe in God, that God, is, you know, is always with you and all this stuff. And I was, I, this, this came out of my mind, my mouth. I was like, um... You know, I I would like to be with you. You know what I mean? Like I would like to be with you. He was like, don't tell me that because I was I was um, I, like I will believe it. And I was like, believe it. So then we started, you know, dating and like we got together and stuff like that. When I tell you that I won the lottery with this man, I won the lottery with this man. Like I loved him with all my life. Like. Words can explain how much I love this man. Like, he's everything to me. And, like, 